Bone and joint infections, neonatal bone uh, infections, group B strep, they got it from the canal. IV drug abusers, pseudomonas. Let's just talk about this for a second. If so, when I was a medical student, you're there with your little short white coat, trying not to get asked questions and look like an idiot, right? You're kind of hiding behind people on rounds, trying to find out where to stand so you don't you know, get nailed. And uh, they would always ask you these bug and drug questions. And they'll be like, I don't know my micro that. If someone had just told me this, if there's water, plastic, or rubber involved, it will be pseudomonas. If there's cloth or cotton involved, it will be staph. So you're in the hot tub too long, in the hot tub you get a folliculitis, what's a hot tub got? Water, plastic, and rubber. You'll have a pseudomonas hot tub folliculitis. You're in an ICU on a ventilator with plastic tubing and water pooling in the tubing with all that stuff and a plastic endotracheal tube, what are you gonna get? You're gonna get pseudomonas. You step on a nail through a sweaty, rubber, and plastic, wet-soled sneaker, what are you gonna get? Pseudomonas. Anything that has water, rubber, or plastic involved, you're gonna get pseudomonas. You got a contact lens problem? Well, your contact lens container solutions are plastic and they're wet. You're gonna get pseudomonas. Rubber, plastic, or water, it's pseudomonas every time. If you got cloth, you leave a tampon in for five days. Cotton, you're gonna get staph. You leave nasal packing in for too long, you're gonna get staph. You got a cast on and the cast wadding has irritated your skin over a, cast bl over a fracture blister. What are you gonna get? You're gonna get staph. So that's helpful. Cat bites, pastorella, fresh water moons, 